Chronic neck and back pain can be enormously frustrating and debilitating. It wears on you physically and emotionally. I've seen it cost patients their jobs, prevent them from enjoying activities they love, strain relationships, and worse. Hi, I'm Dr. Mark Shelley. I'm a chiropractic physician, board-certified functional neurologist, and clinic director at Olympic Spine and Sports Therapy. Olympic Spine and Sports Therapy is also part of the Sound Pain Solutions Network, which you may be familiar with. Sound Pain Solutions is a network of clinics located throughout the Puget Sound region that use advanced rehabilitation procedures to treat chronic neck and back pain without the use of drugs or surgery. I want to thank you for taking time to view the video. You're likely watching because you or someone you know is suffering from chronic back or neck pain. That's the bad news. The good news? At Olympic Spine and Sports Therapy, we have helped thousands of patients find lasting relief and regain their quality of life. Better yet, we've done it without subjecting our patients to the risks and the side effects of drugs, injections, or surgery. All of our treatments are safe, effective, and pain-free. Over the next several minutes, we'll walk you through each of the therapies we use to treat neck and back pain, as well as the alternatives. It will help you understand how the treatments we use are comprehensive, unique, and effective. Thank you, and please reach out to us directly if you have any questions regarding the content of this video series. Most patients we see have lived with their pain and limitations for a long time. They've been to a number of doctors and had all kinds of tests performed without finding lasting relief. In order to understand the root cause of your pain, we always begin with a thorough screening of each patient to better understand if you're a candidate for our treatment or if you need to see another specialist. Most often, chronic spinal pain is mechanical or compressive in nature. A mechanical problem means that there's an alteration of proper alignment or motion. If allowed to persist, it can lead to conditions like disc herniation or degeneration, spinal stenosis, arthritis, and spondylolisthesis. Most chronic spinal pain related conditions originate from these alterations of alignment and motion. It increases stress and strain to the muscles, ligaments, and joints, which causes pain, inflammation, and degeneration. In turn, that leads to more abnormal alignment and motion. It's a vicious and relentless cycle. For instance, we've all seen an elderly person stooped over with poor posture. It looks painful for a reason. These are x-rays taken of an elderly gentleman we treated. He came to us with low back pain and sciatica he'd experienced for over 30 years. The green line is normal. The red line is where his spine was. Here you can see that the spine shifts to the left. That misalignment is maintained all the way up to his neck. The misalignment places more load on the lower discs and joints. This eventually causes degeneration to the disc, which can be seen in the next image. When this patient came to us, he was shifted forward of proper neutral position 64 millimeters. That's nearly three inches. Again, that transfers more load to the disc than the joints in the lower back. This dark space shows a normal healthy disc between the bottom vertebra and the tailbone. In contrast, if we look above at the disc between L4 and L5, you'll see it's much smaller, especially at the back. This is disc degeneration, the results of that vicious cycle. When x-rays were taken following treatment, he was reporting over 50% improvement in his symptoms. As you can see, the forward displacement of his spine of 64 millimeters was dramatically reduced to only three millimeters. And this was a patient in their 80s. Our comprehensive treatment not only reduced his pain, but of equal importance, we also corrected the underlying cause to give him lasting results. Now, let's see what happens if mechanical problems are not corrected and persist for years. This is an x-ray of a person's neck from the side view. The dark spaces demonstrate where normal healthy discs are. Notice the relationship of the head to the shoulder, they're in line. Also, note the forward curve of the neck. The curve acts as a shock absorber and distributes the load over the joints and discs uniformly. If you have an accident or injury or repeat activities that reduce the neck curve, it increases the load causing pain, inflammation, and degeneration. Let's take a look. Notice how the curve is being reduced.
Now the neck is straight. Now it's beginning to curve backwards and the head is being leveraged forward over the shoulders. This causes more load on the middle and lower discs. Now you can see the disc spaces are getting smaller. That's degenerative disc disease. The additional white is arthritic development. Some of the lower joints have fused together. This demonstrates how abnormal mechanics create progressive spinal degeneration. This is the underlying cause of the vast majority of chronic spine-related conditions. It also helps explain why traditional treatments like drugs, physical therapy, injections, and surgery so often are not successful. In the next section, we'll review how each of these approaches addresses chronic neck and back pain. Anyone suffering from back and neck pain knows the most common treatment protocols include drugs, physical therapy, injections, and surgery. Then of course, you have the option of continuing to live with the pain, which is all too common. Let's look at some of the pros and cons of these treatments, starting with drugs. Drugs can be very effective in reducing pain. There's little doubt about that. However, they can also cause a laundry list of side effects, and the risk of addiction is well documented and appropriate concern in our community. In addition, drugs are not effective in addressing the root cause of the pain. They simply mask it. Another common treatment is physical therapy. Exercise therapy can improve strength and stability. However, physical therapy often flares up pain for patients with complex conditions. Nerve compression and inflammation usually need to be reduced before functional exercises can be started successfully. Epidural steroid injections can reduce local inflammation. Unfortunately, steroid injections can damage ligaments, suppress your immune system, and increase the risk of fractures. These side effects limit the number of injections you can have in a given year, which limits how much pain relief they can offer. While they're able to reduce pain, steroid injections can't decompress nerves. If a condition has progressed too far, surgery may be the only option. However, open back surgery is accompanied by serious risks and potential complications. In addition, like drugs and injections, surgery doesn't usually correct the abnormal alignment and movement patterns causing your pain. Most patients that come to us have tried one or more of these treatments, including surgery, and didn't get the results that they need to live an active and fulfilling life. I'm glad to say that at Sound Pain Solutions, we have helped thousands of patients get results, even when other treatments like surgery have not been successful. Our success comes from using a comprehensive treatment approach. It reduces pain, it heals damaged discs, rehabilitates nerves, and restores strength and stability. At Sound Pain Solutions, all of our treatments are drug-free, non-surgical, safe, and pain-free. Typical treatment for spine-related injuries includes non-surgical spinal decompression to reduce nerve pressure and repair damaged discs, chiropractic adjustments and joint mobilization to restore proper motion, laser and infrared light therapy to reduce pain and accelerate nerve repair, skilled manual therapy to restore muscle balance, and integrated functional rehabilitation to restore control, strength, and endurance. To explain how non-surgical spinal decompression works, let's begin by looking at this model. This represents two vertebrae, the clear plastic portion, the disc is the white section that's rubbery in between. When a disc has been damaged or is weakened by degeneration, it can bulge or herniate. This is the disc bulging, and this in yellow is the nerve being compressed. It used to be the only way to treat this was to go in surgically and cut away the protrusion of the disc to decompress the nerve. Fortunately, a neurosurgeon invented non-surgical spinal decompression. Non-surgical decompression machines are sophisticated medical devices. When a disc is compressed, causing a herniation or a bulge, you're seeing in red, compressing the nerves in yellow, the decompression machine 
gently stretches the spine. That creates negative pressure in the disc and will draw the disc back in, relieving the pressure on the nerve, allowing it to heal. Let's see what that looks like on an MRI. This is a lumbar MRI. These dark spaces represent discs. You don't have to be a radiologist to see which disc is different. This bottom one is herniated. The herniation is protruding back into the spinal canal. This is an MRI of the same patient after completing a treatment program, including non-surgical spinal decompression. You can see that the protrusion has been completely reduced. In addition to reducing disc protrusions, non-surgical decompression can accelerate the repair of damaged discs and joints. The pumping action produced with decompression draws nutrients and water into the disc, reduces inflammation, and improves joint motion. This is especially important for discs as they have no direct blood supply. Spinal decompression is safe and pain-free, just like all of our treatments. Many of our patients find decompression treatment so relaxing they actually take a nap. As you saw, for the decompression machine to create negative pressure, the joints have to move freely. To restore lost joint motion, we use low-force chiropractic adjustments or joint mobilization techniques. Not all of our patients need or receive adjustments, and we never use forceful manipulation for complex spine conditions. We may use joint mobilization, table adjustments, or instruments like the activator or arthro stem. These gentle adjustments can reduce pain and inflammation, as well as restore joint motion, so decompression treatment can be more effective. Often when people hear the word laser, they think about ones that are used for surgery. We don't use lasers that cut, we use lasers that heal. Our body can benefit from absorbing certain frequencies and wavelengths of light. Similar to the way plants can absorb sunlight and convert it into energy for growth, our body can absorb near-infrared light and convert it into energy that accelerates the rate of repair. Infrared light therapy has been shown to increase circulation and nitric oxide production. Specific isomers of nitric oxide are known to assist repair of damaged nerves and arteries. With the help of light therapies, discs can heal faster and nerves can be rehabilitated more effectively. Research shows the best treatment transitions from pain reduction to muscle reactivation and ultimately integrated functional rehabilitation. This is the approach we take. Once pain is reduced, muscles that have been impaired need to be reactivated. Pain causes muscles to become weak and short, reducing joint motion and strength to protect the injured joint. To promote recovery, we gently re-engage or reactivate the local muscles. Initially, functional exercises are used to retrain proper joint motion and muscle activation sequences. Once relatively normal joint motion is possible, the patient can be progressed to force control training. The goal here is to be able to cope with real world dynamic environments and ultimately to build endurance and balance. To do this, we use devices like wobble boards, foam pads, BOSUs, and a device called the center force bar. This helps to increase true core strength, develop control, and endurance. Here you see some of the examples of exercises that may be part of your care plan, working to train your body to properly handle motions you use in everyday life without risking injury. As Aristotle said, the whole is greater than the sum of the parts. Combining these therapies has the effect of multiplying the benefit of the individual treatments. Our treatment is unique and comprehensive. That's why our patients are able to get back to the activities they enjoy. The most common question we're asked is, will this treatment work for me? To determine whether or not a patient is a candidate for treatment, we start with a consultation and screening evaluation free of charge. If you are a candidate for treatment, we'll tell you what detailed testing is necessary, including the cost up front. Once we've gathered all the necessary information, we will sit down with you and review what we found. Providing your candidate will create a customized plan for your treatment and discuss the projected cost.
Thank you for spending some time to learn about the unique therapies we use at Olympic Spine and Sports Therapy to treat chronic neck and back pain. I hope you found it informative. Chronic spine pain isn't usually life-threatening, but it can rob you of your quality of life by impairing your ability to work, preventing you from enjoying your hobbies, making you dependent on others, and affecting your mood. Whatever your motivation is, I want you to know that our success comes from using a comprehensive treatment approach that reduces pain, heals damaged discs, rehabilitates nerves, and restores strength and stability. Most patients come to us after having tried medication, injections, physical therapy, just about everything you can imagine without experiencing lasting results. We've helped thousands of patients find relief and regain their quality of life. That includes hundreds who were told surgery was their only option. And we've done that without drugs, injections, or surgery. Of course, getting treatment before the condition has progressed too far is critical. If you're tired of living with pain and the way it limits your life, call us and schedule a free consultation. We look forward to letting you know if you're a candidate for our drug-free and non-surgical treatment.